Hydrogen Technology of Tomorrow Already Today. Hello everybody and welcome to another Fronius webinar. Today we have got a very, very special webinar. Uh, I will give you the latest insights into our hydrogen solution into the Fronius SoHub. Your Fronius team today consists of me. My name is Kurl Sandro. I am from Team Trainings and Education uh, at Fronius International in Wales in Upper Austria. And my colleague, uh, Raunik Michael, he is in Team Trainings too, will support me during the chat. Uh, fortunately, another colleague joined us, uh, Mr. Dominic Mittermeier. He is uh, in the hydrogen sales team. So he will also do the chat uh, and afterwards we have got a live joining of him. So if you have any questions regarding Fronius uh, and Solhub hydrogen in particular, so please use the chat function and type in the questions. You will get immediate response from our experts in the chat. Good. What's on the agenda for today? So first of all, I will present you uh, the news, Fronius news, what's new in the hydrogen sector. Then I will focus on the Fronius Soul Hub, our current uh, product on the hydrogen market. We will go through two predefined case studies. So I will give you insights on how effectively a project could look like with Fronius and also technical requirements and all the process sequence uh, if you decide to work to, together with Fronius are defined within the webinar. But first of all, before we directly jump into the contents of the webinar, uh, I have prepared a quick poll for you. So guys, uh, please let me know. Uh, I will now show you the poll. Do you already know Fronius Soul Hub, our hydrogen solution? So that would be of very high interest for me and our team. Uh, possibility one, yes, I'm quite informed and also did some research. So I know the Soul Hub and all the things about it. Second possibility is yes, I already have heard about it, but um, I do not know any exact information. And third possibility, no, I don't know about it yet. And I am uh, very curious about this webinar. So I see many of you guys uh, are voting at the moment. Um, thank you very much for your participants. I will wait just a few seconds and then of course present you the result uh, of the poll. Okay, I see more than 90% of the attendees already voted so I will now close the poll and show you the results. Um, the results are as followed. Um, many of you, uh, so 45% um, of you already heard about our hydrogen, hydrogen solutions, but they do not know in detail about more, a little bit more than one third do not know about it anyway, uh, and about 20% are quite informed and know pretty well about our solution. So thank you very much for your participation. Um, I think there is definitely for everybody a few uh, interesting information within the webinar. Uh, and of course, you can um, ask us anytime via the chat function. Good. So let's jump directly into the first topic. So what are the big Fronius news in the hydrogen sector? Um, first of all, I want to show you our uh, more or less timeline. So Fronius has got a really, really long term experience in, in the hydrogen sector. So everything started uh, about 18 years ago in year 2002. So uh, back in times, we started in the hydrogen sector with an own fuel cell development. And um, during the years, a lot of different projects were realized. So you see a lot of kind of flagship projects like 
uh, this energy self-sufficient house in Upper Austria or uh, interlogistic purposes, uh, forklift, um, fueling, and so on. Um, the biggest step we, we took uh, so far uh, was in 2018, where our soul hub was uh, kind of finished, the, the whole concept, and we are now ready for reproducing it and currently looking for partners. We also got a really high distinction already for our hydrogen pro project, the Soul Hub. You see here we got uh, different prizes, Energy Star Award, for example, recently last year um, for the research and development for this very, very good um, and uh, well-established uh, product so far. Good, so much to our experience in the hydrogen sector and uh, I would say the latest news on the hydrogen uh, sector is Fronius is building currently a hydrogen competence center also in Austria, again in Upper Austria, uh, close to our headquarters. Uh, it's in the town called Steinhaus by Wells in Austria. Of course, there will be in this competence center a Fronius Soul Hub on site, and Fronius really wants to focus on the hydrogen now. So we want to ensure a central bundling of all the hydrogen competences within our company, and we really have this site only for hydrogen. What will we do at this hydrogen competence center? Of course, we will produce the Soul Hubs in future. A lot of space is also reserved for doing systems research and there will be a lot of laboratories um, and of course a lot of space for customers. So customer acquisition is the main big topic and goal for the Soul Hub. Of course we will invite a lot of customers to our site and show them okay uh, our product and what we are doing in the hydrogen sector. And this is actually the product we, we are offering. It's the Fronius Soul Hub. That's our decentralized hub for solar energy. Why are we effectively doing um, this hydrogen thing, um, by the way? So we in the solar energy, solar energy division at Fronius have got a common vision. It's called the vision 24 hours of sun. And if you see this picture, there are many, many different technologies and parts included uh, in order to ensure to make the energy of the sun 24 hours usable. You see here, uh, we are of course an inverter manufacturer, so the photovoltaic systems are core components on industrial scale and of course also residential scale. But we also include other forms of renewable energies, like you can see here in the background, wind power, hydropower, um, or off-grid genset solutions. That's all we see in the future, the world. Um, we are working day by day to achieve this vision in the future. And if you take a closer look on it, you also see the hydrogen uh, station here. Uh, and here another one, and, and that's of course the Fronius Soul Hub. And we see, of course, the necessity in the long term to reach the final energy transition to rely on hydrogen to make, uh, on the one hand, uh, uh, a hydrogen filling station for vehicles, uh, and on the other hand, also uh, a seasonal storage with reconversion to electricity. Therefore, in Fronius, we always talk about the 24 hours of sun generator. So that's actually our path to a decarbonized world. You see here, uh, we all are, uh, of course, a primary uh, uh, inverter manufacturer. So we, uh, we force or we are working day by day uh, towards the sector integration. The first sector we are focusing on is, of course, the electricity sector. 
So you see here inverter, maybe a battery storage to transfer the energy from nighttime, from daytime to nighttime. Uh, different appliances in, in the household and maybe also an EV charging um, station with e-mobility. The second path to decarbonize the world uh, is of course the sector heat. We also have these products at the moment available. So just think of the Fronius own pellet for heating purposes or our load management, our intelligent um, energy, energy flows where we can control heat pumps or, or heating rods with the own pellet. So that's effectively the sector heat we already targeted. And in, I would say, a final scale, uh, we focus now on the green path. That's uh, the last step and that includes definitely the hydrogen topic with electrolyzer for producing hydrogen and fuel cell to recombine hydrogen and oxygen for um, this energy um, generation. And that's the product, that's the Fromius approach to this topic. So actually this is a, a real life picture. It's uh, at our research and development site in Talheim Pebbles. So this is the Fronius Soul Hub you can see here um, with its dispenser here, uh, the renewable energy for source uh, in our case, of course, the photovoltaics. Um, we have got a container solution you see here uh, within the container, there is the electrolyzer. And if you decide for a reconversion um, to hydrogen uh, of hydrogen, uh, re-rectification, of course, also the um, the fuel cell and the energy storage. Overview of the Fronius Soul Hub. So I have pointed out here some key facts. So what is so special about the Soul Hub? We have got an adaptive system. That means um, we have a modular system which is stepwisely adaptable. Um, that means we always look individually to each customer and want to provide the best solution for the best purposes for our customer. A key fact is also that we are producing decentralized hydrogen. So that means we locally produce hydrogen, green hydrogen. Um, and that's, a, I would say, a, a big, big differentiation to the current market. Because if you look at the current market, the, the most part uh, which is sold of hydrogen is gray hydrogen. That means this is, that is hydrogen which came out of reformation or gasification processes of um, fossil fuels like natural gas, crude oil or coal. We are going another path. Um, that's the decentralized production. That, we, that means we really produce on site with renewable energy, green hydrogen. Of course, the, the sector integration is uh, very, very important for us. Uh, like I told you the, before, the 24 hours of sun generator with all its different sectors. Coming back to the components, uh, I will also go a little bit more into detail within the presentation today. Okay, what consists the this, this Soul Hub? Uh, of course, I've already mentioned it, the electrolyzer, compressor, storage, dispenser, uh, if you have uh, hydrogen uh, as, uh, as in use for filling station and the fuel cell for the optional re-electrification. Re Requirements, um, what is required by our customers? Of course, you need for hydrogen generation uh, a water connection and a, a sufficient mains connection. We'll also come back to these topics later on. So maybe you're asking now why we at Fronius uh, are focusing the, I would say, not so common way at the moment, the decentralized hydrogen production. Um, I have pointed out this with, with this slide. You see here, uh, uh, this line here with the nine euros per kilogram, that's uh, currently the average price of hydrogen if you purchase it 
at a petrol station. So there, there are quite uh, some petrol stations which are offering hydrogen. I know it from Austria, there are approximately five to six um, petrol stations which are offering hydrogen uh, and uh, overall Europe, of course, many, many more. If you have got this, um, therefore you pay per kilogram, that means one kilogram of hydrogen is about nine to 11 euros roundabout. If you now compare it with the centralized production uh, and our decentralized production, you see at first sight, okay, uh, this decentralized option is much more expensive. Yes, you're right. Uh, if you only consider the production costs, it's of course multiple times uh, more in price, but you always have to take into consideration the whole picture and the overall uh, processes which come with it. So let's look into detail. Uh, if you have this centralized production, you are of course again strong dependent on, on companies which are um, make centralized production and deliver you the hydrogen. You have of course many, many intermediate steps before it effectively goes to the petrol station like uh, storage, you need transport facilities, Maybe you also have to build a new pipeline to, to make this uh, hydrogen flows. Uh, and uh, of course, you again have this dependency, which we are currently facing. If you look on the oil industry, we are also highly in, uh, dependent on them. Uh, and that's actually the way we do not want to have any more Fromius. And that's the reason why we focus on this decentralized production. And we really uh, are, uh, we are, we know, okay, it's higher in the, if you only consider the production price, but, but just take into consideration all the benefits which come with it. So I have talked about sector integration. So many, many other things can be done. If you just think of, of on the waste heat that can be used from electrolyzer and fuel cell. Also a big topic, resilience. That means um, you are safeguarding against failure in the energy sector. You are decentralized and producing your energy. A lot of business model models are coming up. So energy commu communities are formed and therefore uh, also uh, image upgrades. That means appreciation uh, for your your town or whatever, wherever the from your soul hub is installed. So this all comes with it and then Below the line, you are uh, on the best track if you focus this uh, with the added value and also the jobs creation in the country, a uh, decentralized version. That's the Fronius way to go and that's the, the key fact we are focusing on. So now, how does uh, Fronius Soul Hub effectively work? You see on top, uh, we have got the renewable energy source. In our case, uh, of course, we focus on the photovoltaic sector. Second point here is, of, is the inverter. Of course, it's a Fronius inverter uh, for um, the Soul Hub. And then we, see, we go directly into the container solution where the electrolyzer is in it uh, and the fuel cell uh, on an optional scale. You see here uh, on fourth, the, the storage solutions that's also adaptable. We are very flexible when it comes to our customer wishes. Uh, so we can uh, provide you the best um, storage possibilities and capacities. And on, on here on the fifth part, you can see that's the dispenser. That means if you have um, uh, primary the the vehicle applications uh, for uh, uh, used to want to make use of the Soul Hub as filling station, you have got here the dispenser. Good. The key components of the Fronius Soul Hub are here uh, listed once again. Of course, it's the re renewable energy source for the green hydrogen uh, of different uh, different renewables. In our case, the PV systems. And um, what is also very important, uh, you have to ensure 
that only a renewable energy source, that means if you only have got a PV system on site, that's not sufficient. So therefore you have to guarantee a, a proper mains connection where you can um, buy or purchase green electricity uh, from the grid um, to produce the hydrogen too from the grid. Then we have the container solution. We have therefore the electrolyzer and the, the fuel cell. So we are scalable and multipliable. Uh, and also the possibility exists to utilize the waste heat. Third component, the storage. Uh, we are focusing on compressed gases, hydrogen. So that's also a difference. Some, some systems are based on liquid hydrogen. So we have the compressed gases hydrogen solution. Uh, demand oriented, that means uh, whether, wherever, how many vehicles you have, how much energy you want to store, we can, of course, um, make bigger storage. That's no problem. Uh, customization, that's the key word when it comes to the Fronius Soul Hub. And the last component would be the dispenser. That means if you use the hydrogen uh, as filling station, uh, you can fuel different types of hydrogen vehicles. That means we can deliver both um, pressure levels, uh, 350 bars for heavy uh, trucks, buses and municipal vehicles and the 700 bars, which is commonly used for cars um, we can also deliver with the Fronius Soul Hub. Key data on technical specifications. You see here we are relying on the polymer, polymer electrolyte membrane electrolysis. That means with our technology we can produce up to 52 kilograms of hydrogen per day and we are fully scalable and multipliable. Again, the hydro hydrogen storage is application optimized uh, to the pressure levels and also to the capacities. We have, we can guarantee the higher, very high purity level. That means we have the hydrogen quality of 5.0. Just imagine that means purity levels uh, 5.0. That means uh, after the 99.9% there are coming five digits of the nine and that's our purity level we can produce with our solution and uh, output pressure we are also very flexible depending on what the customer requires 350 bars and or uh, both is possible uh, 700 bars for car applications for example why are we focusing on the PAM technology, that means on the polymer electrolyte membrane electrolysis. That's our solution we are focusing on. That means that's a very well established technology and we are focusing on it because uh, it makes perfect match with renewable energies. That means we can do overload uh, operation, we can do partial load operation. Also, rather small production capacities are possible with the PAML and we can guarantee an operation mode at different pressure levels. That means whether 350 or 700 bars, both is possible. Also, the op operating temperature is um, rather low compared to other system technologies. Just think of the high temperature electrolysis where we have temperatures of up to 1000 degrees Celsius. We have got with our PAML uh, around about 60 degrees operating temperatures. You see here the principle of PAM technology that's more or less um, the, the principle where the magic happens more or less. That means here comes the the, the water that means the demineral, demineralized water um, and you see here uh, in between a proton conducting membrane um, and in between a separation area where the separation of 
oxygen and hydrogen takes place. And here we have got two uh, electrodes that are mostly platinum or rhodium electrodes. That means they are double-sided installed and you just here uh, feed it by a voltage source, electrolysis voltage, uh, electrical energy, and therefore you uh, receive this one, the hydrogen we are uh, focusing on and we want to achieve this. So much to our technology and the reasons why we are using this technology. And now coming back more, that was kind of the technical uh, details and now we are focusing on the target groups. So who, um, who is predestinated for our solution? Whom do we want to uh, focus on? We have got defined four key target groups of Fronius Solhub. We want to focus on these ones and these are following. We focus clearly on industrial scale um, and also business, uh, business companies. That means uh, mainly that there ha is something included with uh, mobility in, in form of industrial trucks, vehicle fleets, or kind of uh, car rental uh, solutions. That's kind of we are focusing on and we want to provide the solution. Also, uh, communes and transport services uh, are very important for us. So what is for us very, very important, we do not want to simply um, provide our Thronius Soul Hub as a filling station. So it's much more than a filling station. So it's a decentralized hub for solar energy. And it can also easily be used for communes where the main purpose is this reconversion, so this seasonal storage of solar uh, energy. And also logistics, we have already uh, just think back on the first slide, um, already realized in the past some, some logistic applications for interlogistic fields uh, and freight forwarding, for example. So that's uh, a clear statement, I guess, again, for our target groups. We always receive many questions if we have some residential solutions. So we have to clearly say with this soul hub solutions, you know, in this way, we clearly focus on uh, industrial larger scales um, and Definitely, we want to tackle these target groups. What is Fronius now offering? Of course, we are offering tailor-made solutions. That means we deliver you the all-round carefree package for your individual Fronius Soul Hub. And therefore, I have worked out two different case studies I want to present you, how typically projects could look like with Fronius and the Soul Hub. So case study one is a refilling of hydrogen powered vehicles. That means that could be, for example, a public utility or a public transport service. And uh, what are you seeing here? You see here a company building where you have got a PV plant on it, a PV system. We've got mains connection here. Uh, and uh, as a central element, we've got our Fronius Soul Hub here, which is used in first place to refill the hydrogen vehicles. What is necessary in such a scenario? Of course, we need to have the availability of hydrogen vehicles. That means uh, in an initial scenario, we have got around about one to 10 vehicles. And uh, what is also very important, you always have the possibility to have a fuel cell as an extension. That means if you want, just look at the energy flows. If you want to have uh, at any time, again, this electrical energy available for your uh, company side, that's all the time possible. Uh, that's optional uh, as an extension possible with Fronius. And what is also maybe uh, interesting for you, external access is also possible with our 
uh, if, you, if some stakeholders are included. Maybe one slide to hydrogen as energy carrier in the mobility sector. So just look at this. You see at first sight, uh, hydrogen has got a very, very high mass referred calorific value. So that means with one kilogram of hydrogen, you have energy content of around 33 kilowatt hours. Uh, but it, on the other hand, it has got a very low volume referred calorific value. That means that's also the reason why it is, it, it is stored at such high pressure levels to, of course, increase the density and have uh, a lot of energy available. If you look here at column common hydrogen tanks, for example, for a car, uh, commonly six kilograms of hydrogen storage are here, for example, at the Hyundai Nexo. That means energy content of approximately 200 kilowatt hours, where you can go, for example, uh, with six kilograms of hydrogen, round about 600 kilometers. We have got, of course, other applications, uh, forklifts uh, in a company or even trucks, of course, with, uh, with much higher energy storage and also bundle storage is possible where you can store it on a long term. That's uh, that you just have a feeling how much energy content does one kilogram of hydrogen have and its uh, its position in the mobility sector. Technical real realization. So coming back to case study one, uh, the refilling at the company side. So again, it would be done with the PEM electrolyzer uh, with different pressure levels depending on the application. Production capacity could be around about 13 to 200 kilograms per day. That's also depending on how many vehicles you have, of course, uh, how much are your, 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 tip, your daily routes you're going with these vehicles uh, and application oriented storage with an electrical mains connect, uh, electrical connection means mains connection from 80 to uh, 400 of kilowatts. Good. Case study two, uh, that was uh, again uh, a scenario how it could look like with the Fronius Soul Hub. So that's effectively a concept of seasonal energy storage. Just look at this picture here. That's a, a typical commune, I would say. It means uh, some households uh, are deciding to uh, to create a storage possibility uh, for their surplus energy uh, on a long-term way. That means here you have got the demand-oriented uh, reconversion to electricity. What is, of course, all the time possible is to integrate the, the mobility factor here. Just a car can all the time be integrated here and another uh, energy flow, that means energy stream is here integrated. That's the use of the waste heat you see here uh, when uh, here the reconversion happens. Of course, we have um, waste heat also during the electrolyzation. That means, um, therefore, we want to use the, we want to get the best efficiency of the overall system and use all these energy flows. That's the second project how you could look like. And you see here now clearly the difference. Here, it isn't the main purpose to, to refill uh, vehicles. Yes, you can do it, you see it here. But here, it definitely the goal is to make seasonal energy storage possible. What's the, what's the reason now to make this seasonal storage? I have also pointed out here in one slide. You see here that's a typical production analysis of a PV array in Austria or general in Europe looks very identical. You have very high production peaks during the summer months, but in fact, in the winter months, where we actually need energy for heating and so on, um, renewable energy uh, and in our specific case now, the PV system uh, has, of, co of course, the lowest yield situation. And therefore, the idea is um, 
to um, to make kind of uh, compensation of these peaks. That means you transfer this um, maybe excess energy you are not using at the moment into this winter months where you can then use this 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 energy and have kind of uh, an energy balance throughout the year. It's also a reason why we are doing this an energy long time storage uh, with the Fronius Soul Hub is the net relief. That means if there are peak loads in, in the grid, that the grid operator, for example, can use the Soul Hub to make this, uh, this compensation the grid with the surplus energy. And technical realization, once again, of this uh, seasonal energy storage concept. It's again done with our PAM-L uh, and now different pressure levels. That means here it's now starting with 30 bars. So you do not need that high pressure um, at a starting level compared to, to hydrogen filling station only use. So that means, but of course you can ramp up up to 700 bars. Production capacity also demand oriented, uh, also the storage and the electrical connection is slightly lower for the energy, seasonal energy storage. Okay, so much to the case studies. Uh, I hope that I could give you uh, uh, an overall overview of this, uh, how you can effectively realize a project with Fronius and with our Fronius Soul Hub hydrogen solution. And now I will go a little bit, uh, I will tell you about the technical requirements which are necessary for the realization of a soul hub. I have mentioned this, this should show you once again that it is very, very important to not only rely on renewable energy source, that means yes, that's the base for green hydrogen, but if you want to run a uh, and from your soul hub uh, economically and on the long term, it's of course necessary to have sufficient mains connection and mains capacities where you can operate the from your soul hub. Just look at this case example in Central Europe. We see here that's uh, a one megawatt peak system with uh, quite large roof space, rooftop installation. You've got the specific yield which is 1,100 kilowatt hours per kilowatt peak in Austria and the 24 hours, seven days a week operation mode. And even with this very, very rather big PV system, uh, if you want to uh, realize here a hydrogen filling station to fill your, your fleet of trucks, you see here um, the most part is coming from the grid, uh, of course, the more trucks your, your fleet gets, the lower the, your own PV energy can be used and therefore the more the grid gets important. Um, and that's just to give you a feeling, okay, this mains connection, this connection of the grid is very, very important. So the PV system only is not sufficient to run it um, 24 hours, seven days a week. And of course, also to run it economically feasible. Yes, the grid connection requirements have, of course, be checked with the local grid operator. So that's also depending on the uh, on different parameters. Just think of transformer power capacity or the suitability of electricity transport network. So that's also very different to make here a general general statement on this you have to really look into detail um, and for each customer that's individual. What is also necessary is a water treatment plant. That means you cannot use tap water here. You have to make a purification process of the water. That means here uh, often used um, this principle also for salt water pur purification. That's the same principle we are, we are focusing here on the reverse osmosis. It means all the pollutants within the water are filtered by this 
semi-permeable membrane and therefore you get this high purified water. Just to imagine the water balance, you need around about 9 liters of this deionized or demineralized water for producing 1 kilogram of hydrogen effectively. Just give you a feeling. So that was the names connection, also the water purification process, the water treatment. And the third thing I want to give you or want to tell you is also the waste process, process heat. Why is this waste process heat so important to use? Just look at this. Once again, you see here the PV generator, um, the electrolyzer, that means here is the primary use, the, the mobility application, and here we have got the seasonal storage. Nevertheless, it, it's independent from the situation. You have massive waste heat flows. Just look at this here. Uh, that means it's calculated for one year. The yield is 120 megawatt hours per year. With electrical efficiency of 60%, you get 70 megawatt hours per year for storage uh, of the hydrogen. And 40%, um, that means if you calculate it with this uh, electrolyzer efficiency, are waste heat. That means that's effectively a big, a big uh, heat flow, which of course has to be used to make the overall system more efficient. And if you look down at here at the re-electrification um, scheme, you see there you have, have got, of course, two waste heat flows. Once if in the electrolyzer, if you produce the hydrogen, and then again, if you combine the, the hydrogen and the oxygen in the fuel cell, you have again here heat losses, uh, another waste heat stream, uh, waste heat flow um, even higher than in the first scenario. And that's a thing I want to point out that it's very, very important to use these waste, waste heat flows to make the overall system more efficient and more economic. Good. Coming back to, I would say, business, to the project business. So how does now a successful process sequence look like with Fronius? So Dominic is also in, in the chat. He is straight out of the team project business. He, he is answering the questions and afterwards he will join um, briefly live. So how is it possible to contact Dominic or Fronius in general? So Fronius Solhub is structured within Fronius as project business. So it was a few, a few months ago integrated within the business unit Solar Energy. You see here on the right picture, that's the Fronius um, hydrogen team with the management board. So we are quite growing. Of course, we are now really focusing on this Soul Hub as project business and, of course, looking for customer projects we want to realize. How can you contact us? So we are very active at fairs. We would have planned a big trade show to, with the Soul Hub at this year at the InterSolar. Unfortunately, the InterSolar was cancelled, but um, stay tuned. There will definitely come um, some online presentations where we will for also present you the, the solar more in detail. We are also throughout the year, not only InterSolar or other fairs at events, we make a lot of public presentations where you can uh, all the time contact us or just send a direct inquiry to Fronius to the Soul Hub team. That means uh, the technical sales is done via the team project business and you can all the time contact us, of course. And that's effectively the H2 sales teams. That means Dominic is sitting in the chat. So he is technical sales for PV and H uh, hydrogen solutions. Also, Gregor Planka is joint the team and Mr. Wolfgang Hink is the head of the project business and also responsible for 
the hydrogen um, sales. So if you have a, a concrete inquiry, you have got here the email, you get also the, the recording and the slides afterwards. So just send your inquiry to one of our colleagues and they will definitely give, give you um, an answer on your concerns. So how is the process sequence now in general organized? You see here um, in four main steps how a project looks like, uh, a Soul Hub project. So at the beginning, there is always the fact finding. So we will define here the respective needs and also the concept development. And this ends up with an estimative offer um, where the customer has will get a contract from us, a preliminary contact. He has to sign this contract. After this, we are going directly into the pre-project. That means there is really the detailed planning. We are also looking for official approvals. Also funding is a big topic that you get from the government money for the projects. And the pre-project uh, uh, ends up in the binding offer. That means here, um, you get then the order confirmation and then we have this biggest bubble here, the project where effectively the construction phase and we are also supporting in getting the necessary permits and installation of course, uh, um, which ends up in the initial commissioning and into the handover of the project. That means the final bubble is the operation where we are also uh, at your site, that means we uh, provide you full support throughout the entire life cycle. And also regarding maintenance, we are helping you. We are here for you. Maybe some things, legal requirements for Fronius, just uh, briefly. Of course, we have got a lot of external factors, which are, are also focusing on this hydrogen topics. We have to fulfill them, for example, pressure equipment directives, also a lot of the electrical directives, um, explosion protection, these ATICS standards and all other standards. Uh, we as Fronosin, Fronius are focusing these external factors. And of course, we uh, are aware to give you the declaration of conformities or it's our duty to do this. Afterwards, uh, if there is really a project assignment, that means um, we deliver for our customers all the instructions. That means we also give a lot of proposals, also when it comes to hazard and operability. That means we are really um, provide the full support. We are here for you. We are here for the customers. And customer sided also, there are, I would say, two big, big topics we have to define. It's on the one hand, the building permits. That means um, if you want to realize such, such phone as Soul Hub at your site, you have to look at the local billing reg regulations on um, emission specifications, also on the neighborhood. Uh, that's also a thing you have to take into consideration when, uh, when building it. And also when it's in, in actual operation mode, there are, have also been taken into consideration some key points but have to be clarified on the customer side. But of course, Fronius is providing full support. That means from planning to the initial commissioning, uh, Fronius guarantees full support to make your project success. You have heard it, we are really a competent partner on long term. That means we are really a family owned business. We have got long time experience and we really make individual consulting and system configuration to make the best Soul Hub for you and make the best product for you. We deliver all the conformity declarations, that means the team project business is really looking uh, and very auxiliarily with regards to this all building permits, operational permits and also funding. So we provide the full support for your project success. 
Maybe one thing I also want to mention regarding financing models. That means also the project business has here got different models we are offering. Briefly said, we have got this EPC model. That means engineering, procurement and construction. There are two different versions. That means on the one hand, we are operating as general conductor, contractor. That means uh, Fronius sells the soul hub, um, depending on what module, model you type, uh, you choose. We, you prepare as a customer the infrastructure and run the plant, or Fronius is preparing it, uh, and otherwise um, you can choose if you want to have a maintenance offer by Fronius uh, for, your, for this kind of model. There are also contracting models. That means you have therefore a regular payment to Fronius. So we sell also the Fronius, uh, the Soul Hub to you. That means you run the plant, but you have got uh, regular payments to Fronius uh, with included maintenance. Or another model would be pay per use. That means Fronius builds the Soul Hub. We also run the plant, but you have to sign a commitment that you have constant purchase and constant uh, constant use of a predefined quantity at the pre-specified price level uh, in order to make calculations possible. But that's um, more or less in general the different financing models we are offering for our Soul Hub. Coming so slowly to the end of the webinar. So what is Fronius planning now in 2020? So we are definitely want to realize first demonstration projects together with our customers. So we have some really concrete projects with different companies and communes. And we really want to realize our first demonstration project within this year. We are, of course, at the moment a little bit focusing on Germany, Austria, Switzerland, but in general, the whole European Union, uh, European economic area um, is possible where we can uh, provide a Soul Hub solution for our customers. Yes, we want also contribute uh, of funding applications with customers. So that goes hand in hand with this concrete project. And of course, also we are also, also want to improve the system more and more. So we want to achieve cost reductions to make it cheaper, more efficient at all the time. And our medium term target, target price is to reach 10 to 12 euros um, per kilogram of green hydrogen. And just one thing I also added in the presentation because it's a very recent project of Fronius. Uh, Fronius is also included in other things. So we have realized such snowmobile fleet powered by hydrogen. So that's in a ski area also in Austria, in Upper Austria, where Fronius was side by side as a project partner. So you see here a, a snowmobile, snowmobile, which is fueled by hydrogen by company Cortax. And we also participated in this project. We delivered the big PV system for this um, small refilling station. And that was really a, a huge success story of the whole snow snowmobile fleet is powered by hydrogen and it works properly. That was a very recent project of uh, our hydrogen. Okay, that was it so far. So if you are looking for further information, just look on our homepage, fronius.com, where you always time, all the time receive latest information and ongoing developments, even in the hydrogen sector. Visit maybe our trainings. So um, unfortunately, at the moment, due to the global situation, there were a lot of cancellations. But at the moment, of course, we are focusing on virtual education. That means we are offering a huge range of webinars. Just look on also on our homepage 
that there is every day one at least one webinar where we want where we want to ensure that you get the best out of this crisis situation and your overall home office situation. Okay, but before we close the webinar, uh, I now kindly ask my colleagues, maybe Dominic and Michael, um, for doing a live answering of the question. So did we receive any interesting questions uh, or how is it? Um, Michael and Dominic, are you here? Can you hear me? I'm here, Sandro. Hi. Thank you for the very interesting webinar. Uh, we got a lot of questions uh, and I'll pick some from it. Uh, there was one question regarding uh, the maintenance costs of the Soul Hub. Uh, it's roughly 4.5% 4, 4 of the CAPEX for the H2 infrastructure. Um, we had some more questions uh, regarding the mileage, which can be done with one kilogram. If you're talking about cars, it's roughly 100 kilometers or 60 miles. Um, yeah, it's important to, to know that it is a, the Solar is a turnkey solution. So uh, we do a tailor-made design for you uh, accordingly to your requirements. So, for example, if you have uh, three hydrogen cars or plan to, to buy three hydrogen cars, uh, we will design the solar according to your needs. And yeah, what was... Uh, maybe, Michael, do you have some more uh, answers or questions which you want to comment on? Um, maybe I can give one hint here. So, of course, you will get the recording and the presentation of these webinars some days after the webinar. So, we send you the recording and the presentation slides to your email address, which with you um, registered for this webinar today. After all, I think we will stay in the chat to answer more of your questions. If you have any, please feel free to ask us these questions and we will then, of course, answer them in the chat function. Yes, so thank you very much, Michael and Dominic, for these very interesting questions. So, like Michael told, uh, we will stay a few minutes in the chat now. So, we will just turn off the microphone. So, if there are now any open questions, so please just ask them. You have the possibility to talk with experts now to get recent uh, response. From my side, I hope you enjoyed the webinar. I hope you got a lot of uh, information. Just look, like I told, you will get the recording also on our YouTube. I have already done another presentation. So please stay healthy, please stay fit and I hope we hear once again um, at our at one of our webinar uh, all the best and have a good evening bye bye